Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. Here in the great state of Texas. On this chilly, it is a Wednesday afternoon with the sun going down on Wednesday. January 25th. 2023, so I'm counting down the days before I get the hell out of here and head to Cozumel, baby. So, uh, <laughs> you guys probably don't remember when I was here last spring. Uh, when I was here last spring and they were just clearing the land and this is what uh, they have built where there was an oak forest last year they have built two of these things so I understand that one that one old lady lives in this house hello It is very close to the one behind it. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, all right. We have a custom home. Yes, from the Southern Living Custom Builder Program. And uh, so right now, the fellow who built it is telling me that his mother... <laughs> is going to be the one living there. I, I don't know if they're, you know, going to try to sell this. Well, it looks to me like about a 5,000 square foot mansion to an actual family. But, uh, the first person will be one single old lady living there. I don't know what the hell this is right here so this is what is left of it so it looked like this you know a year ago basically looked like this over here i to be perfectly honest i don't care for the damn woods around here it's mostly this goddamn what people uh <clears throat> in texas mistakenly call cedar what this crap is, it's Mexican, Mexican juniper, or something like that. But anyway, this is an invasive species that just sucks all the water away from the oak trees. This shit has completely taken over central Texas. God. But the herds of deer somehow find something to eat. I've never seen so many deer in my life right here. So anyway, I have got one more day in the great state of Texas tomorrow. So uh, <laughs> all of you keeping track of my mechanic problems. So anyway, I talked to three mechanics around here three white boys uh you know and they all three were telling me two thousand to two thousand five hundred dollars so then i went up to austin with three of my honky buddies and see if any of them had any interest in doing this tune-up on my car none of them had any interest whatsoever so today I finally said, fuck this, I'm going to go find me a Mexican. <laughs> Took me about 10 minutes to find a Mexican. So remember, I already had all the parts for $200. So I had everything, the fluids and the spark plugs and whatnot. And I asked this dude, how much just to do the labor to replace these fluids and these parts? And he looked at it and said, $300. $300, one-sixth the price. One-sixth the price 
of these uh, three honky mechanics. And you wonder why I want Texas Governor Greg Abbott to send a goddamn busload of Mexicans to Ithaca, New York. You know? Talked to six white guys. Three of them did not want the job for any amount of money. And the other three, $2,000 to $2,500. Uh, I talked to one Mexican. He says $300. So with the, uh, the parts, so I have $500 invested, uh, which is, you know, the very first day when I started out on this, I figured that I was going to spend $500. And uh, that is pretty much to the dollar what I ended up spending. So... Uh, why anybody would not use a Mexican for uh, a... <laughs> it's just it's fucking crazy. One-sixth the price. And anyway, there are no shortages of Mexicans. Even it looks like the real estate agents are Mexicans. Uh, Cindy Stanthrua. I don't have, I mean, I have no idea what this, what real estate, what this piece of shit lot is selling. I mean, look at this crap. I mean, it, you know, I, I wouldn't pay five dollars for this. Do not understand. Do not understand the, uh, what the big excitement is about this shit all. Oh, Lord. But anywho, it's getting goddamn cold out here. I'm going to turn around. Little dog, we're not going much farther than this. The last of the dying sun. Here it is 84 degrees. It is going down to freezing tonight here. It is 84 degrees <clears throat> in Cancun, Mexico. So I am on my way to Cancun, baby. Uh, come on, little dog. Jesus, walking the dog. Oh, Lord, get me the fuck out of this place. Bye, guys.